Warning for you gamers who haven't played the Walking Dead Episode 5 yet, this review includes many clips that would possibly spoil story elements in Episode 5, so please play the game before you actually see this review, or if you don't care about spoilers, feel free to watch the review. With that said, let's continue on. The Walking Dead Episode 5 No Time Left starts off where Episode 4 around every corner left off. Lee has been bitten by a zombie or a walker, and now he's in search for Clementine who's been kidnapped by some mysterious person that no one really knows. The objective for Lee is to save Clementine at no cost before time runs out. A lot of the choices you made in previous episodes of The Walking Dead are brought back in Episode 5, whether they be large or small. They're brought back in small conversations with the group or big climactic scenes. The Walking Dead Episode 5 No Time Left has some pretty major choices of its own. Most of them being two climactic scenes that pretty much change the entire flow and progress of your story. Choices are also more straightforward in this episode of The Walking Dead, being yes or no answers rather than little vague answers you'd answer in episodes 1 through 4. Episode 5 No Time Left is truly a train that just never keeps on going. The cinematic pace is always there, and all your choices from previous episodes always come back to either bite you or help you, or just come back in general. The Walking Dead Episode 5 No Time Left is truly an epic conclusion to Season 1 of The Walking Dead game by Telltale Games. No Time Left will truly be the reason why everyone will remember The Walking Dead for its fantastic storytelling and it will truly make the game go down in history as one of the greatest games of this time. Gameplay wise, No Time Left is pretty much the same as Episodes 1 through 4. There's still those technical hiccups here and there between cutscenes where the game just freezes slightly, which is still kind of annoying, but pretty much the entire story makes up for it and can be forgiven. Visually, the game also still retains its comic book like art style that was given from the comic book series of The Walking Dead, which some people either hate or love, and I personally like. Episode 5 No Time Left is really where the music starts to kick off for the series. You get these climactic and cinematic scenes with tension rising music in the background, it truly makes up for a great experience. The Walking Dead Episode 5 No Time Left is truly an epic conclusion to Season 1 of The Walking Dead. It will have you at the edge of your seat throughout the entire game and in tears by the end of it. If you haven't played any episodes in The Walking Dead, do yourself a favor and pick up the season today. If you already cut up with Episodes 1 through 4, what the hell are you doing watching this review? Go play Episode 5. For more on The Walking Dead and protecting Clementine, visit GamingVlog.net.